hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in revit i am architect sonurai from glad studio and in this today video tutorial i am going to teach you how to model this central i beam steel beam wood staircase in revit so you can see there is a central steel beam going all over this staircase this is dog leg and this is the wood and made of some railings you can also put glass here whatever railing so this is contemporary design so i will show you how to model this in revit so i am going to my revit here and i am going to start a new project here i am going to architecture and now we are in our model space so in this viewport i am going to my architecture here and in architecture you can select this stair here and you can also use this sketch staircase if you want to make custom based or you can use this by default this uh, staircase type this is straight so i'm going to use this straight staircase so i'm going to collect this and this is the base level i'm going to draw a staircase from level one and the top level will be level two and desired number of this uh, ri uh, staircase riser is 18 and trade depth is 11 inch and these all are standard you, if you want to uh, increase the width of the staircase you can go to edit type you can duplicate and you can increase the size minimum run width to any other size like four feet or five feet and as per your design but i'm going to keep this as the same that is three feet and minimum trade depth i'm going to keep as 11 inch and riser height i'm going to uh, make this as a seven inch so i'm going to create a duplicate here and i'm going to make this as a six inch here and i'm going to apply okay and now i'm going to create a staircase so i'm going to first click with my left mouse and if i'm going upwards you can see here 10 rises created 11 remaining so you can, can calculate how much uh, risers you are requiring on the left side and then you can move towards so i am going to uh, make this as a 11 risers created and right remaining i'm going to click here and now i'm going to right side here and now i'm going to click here and i'm going to towards this uh, bottom side and you can see all risers is created and zero remaining so this is our staircase and you make sure that you select this assembled staircase from this properties here so this is by default this is selected and i'm going to first finish this and you can see this is our staircase and if you click this you can see this is the assembled staircase so you can also select monolithic precast but for this type of staircase you are required to create a assembled staircase so i'm going to 3d view to make you clear here so this is the staircase here and you can see this is the assembled staircase you can see this stringers on the left side and the right side and there is trade and the risers so we have to make some edits into this so i'm going to realistic mode here and you can see this is our staircase but this is not steel beam centrally boot staircase so we are required to create a central beam here so you can look on the bottom side here there is no any central i beam running through here so first i am going to create a central beam here so i am going to select this staircase here and i am going to edit type and i am going to duplicate here and i can rename this as a central beam wood stair so we can rename this and you can see here supports here so right supports stringer is closed one so this is the stringer and a right support range stringer is two inch uh, 
width here you can increase or decrease this width if you want and left support is also in stringer and the width is two inch so i'm going to keep as a default and this one you are required to select middle support this is unchecked so i'm going to check this and you can see middle support type is carries two inch width and middle support number is one and cut mark you can keep this as a single zigzag to select this you can see here some more types here in this zigzag so i will uh, do this letter here so i have selected this middle support and this tick mark is on and later on you can edit this carriage which is by default two inch width so i'm going to apply here and click ok and now we'll check the bottom part here and you can see there is a middle support here so you can call this a beam so i'm going to select this staircase here and i'm going to edit type here and you can select this middle support number carries two inch width you can click on these three dots and you can change the material so i'm going to select this material by category and i'm going to rename this as a create a new material and you can rename this as a steel beam material so you can go to asset browser and you can look for steel so you can uh, select steel material here so you can select this any material metal material here and i'm going to apply click apply and you can see here structural depth on run is two and a half inches so you can uh, put any other sizes here so structural depth on landing so this is uh, on this landing you can change this suppose uh, this is seven inch so i'm going to make this as a five inch and let's see what happens here so i'm going to make this as five inch and i'm going to apply here okay so you can see some uh, changes will be here so first we'll go to this two inch width and this is total width is one feet so for understanding this i'm going to first select the bottom part here so now i'm going to select this staircase go to edit type and you can go to again carriage two inch width and now structural depth on run is two and a half inches so i'm going to make this as a four inches and i'm going to apply and you can see this there is some changes here and now i'm going to make this as a same one five inches and total depth is one feet i'm going to keep the same and width you, this is two inch so if you want you can make one inch or in, get, in increase based on your structural uh, suggestion here so i'm going to keep this as a two inch and material i can select the steel material so i'm going to select the steel here and can apply steel material so this is our middle support our middle support is ready so to make something like this i don't need riser here so we have to remove riser so i'm going to select this and i'm going to edit type and after this you can go to your construction here run type and you can select this run type here just click with the left mouse and you will see the three dot and you can go to your material and finishes i will show you one more time you are required to create or uh, select this uh, one more time and you will see this three dot select onto this and after this you will see the trade material by category and riser material by category so you can see this trade will be selected because i need trade here and you can remove this riser you can just simply uncheck this and apply and riser will be removed from here and now i'm going to change the trade material 
and I will click on to this three dot and I will go to create a new material and I will rename this as a wood and we'll go to asset browser and I'm going to search wood here so we'll look for wood finish here so I'm going to use this uh, wax black on red wood so this is just for it make you understand I'm going to apply any wood material here so this is our material wood here and you can also change the nosing this is by default one inch you can make this as a two inch and as per your design you can make this and you can also uh, increase or decrease this thickness this is by default two inch if you want to make this as a three inch you can just make this and you can apply so this uh, material thickness will increase or decrease so i'm going to make this as a default two inch so this is our tread material and if you come down so this is the basic settings and after this can apply so this is our uh, wood central beam staircase you can change this railing type here i'm going to apply glass panel here can apply any other type if you want in railing so you can also use custom based so i'm going to apply this glass material here so if you look uh, we have covered here railing and this is almost same and you can make customized based central beam staircase in revit and you can uh, make a presentation for your client so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching bye bye